Hello, it's me again, Ralph from Oldenburg, today on August 21st, 2018. If you are watching my videos, you are part of the resistance. But Alex Jones is censored, so you can't watch him anymore. Don't even try to go to Infowars.com because you will see nothing or no no alex jones is censored but it's so easy to see him again and even infowars.com is working properly uh, he streams his videos now not on youtube but on another platform he was uh, banned on YouTube, on Twitter and Facebook, I guess. That's it, but it's really so easy uh, to watch him. Infowars.com and uh, censorship in, this times, in these times doesn't work anymore. But is Alex Jones one of the good guys? I thought so when I bought this t-shirt and I listened to him very often but the last month I don't listen to him anymore because he is a little bit too emotional for me and it's always very negative of course you don't uh, it's not good to fight the messenger for the message this is my official statement on the concerted plan to erase my electronic identity and put me into a true electronic ghetto that matt drudge first warned the world of two and a half years ago after he had meetings mm -hmm. with high level federal officials in the judiciary and in the executive and was warned of the takeover plan that Hillary was planning to launch once she got elected. Patriots were aware of the plan and fought back and elected Donald Trump, who's been valiantly exposing the enemy of the American people, the mainstream corporate news that ostracizes and kicks anybody out who's real, like the famous CBS reporter Cheryl Atkinson, who exposed that Obama was false flagging, shipping guns into Mexico to then get people killed to blame gun owners and the Second Amendment. Almost everyone has been purged. And mainstream corporate media, with its dying audiences, uh, its dwindling audiences, are now engines of censorship and harassment against those that try to actually follow the Constitution and restore our republic and who try to then shut down all of their competition. They are now terrorist organizations, most of them on the communist Chinese payroll, which by the grace of God is now breaking. And that's the big takeaway. But anyway, I don't like his kind of presentation anymore. Um, but it's not a good thing to censor him. Another question is, is Alex Jones really one of the good guys or is he a reptilian? Hey guys, it's Beverly Nation again. Thank you so much for watching this video. If information is generating fear and you feel fearful from what you're hearing, this is a good 
assign its reptilian energy because this is what they feed off. That is their food. They cannot feed off the love frequency like we do. We feel good with the love frequency. They cannot. They feel good with fear, fear frequency. So any person, I don't care if they're a channeler, I don't care who they are. If they are telling you things that make you feel fearful about the future, doom and gloom and destruction and days of darkness and we're under attack and all of this stuff, this is reptilian energies and you need to, to turn it off, unsubscribe. So we are not under attack and what's with the geoengineering with all the chemtrails in the sky, what's with direct energy weapons, Northern California and Greece is burnt up with it. Is this not an attack? What's with mass immigration into Europe? I would call this an attack, just like Alex Jones. On the other hand, it's much more fun to listen to Beverly Nations and she's always good for a surprise. Watch her video from the sixth dimension. Click the link below. That's it for today with greetings from Ralph. We are not under attack. Um, yes, of course, dark entities can influence you. Yes, you can. If you're not grounding, you can have an attachment. I'm not saying that this energy does not exist. I'm not saying that. But I'm telling you that they are the ones under attack. It is not us. And when a channel is telling you that you're under attack, that is a huge red flag that it's being influenced by reptilian energies. Someone else that is a shapeshifter is Alex Hello. Jones. Yeah. I have been just taken aback mm -hmm. by the people that defend Alex that Jones and again have bought into this mindset that mm -hmm. Alex is the good guy mm -hmm. and he's under attack. Again, this is the reptilian mindset that Alex is the hero and now he's lost his channel or whatever's happened to him and his network, I don't really care. He is a reptilian shapeshifter, okay? That's why he's taken down. That's why, it's not because he's the good guy under attack, it's because the bad guys are being taken down, all right?